Okay, let's make an electric motor. Uh, let me show you how this is gonna work. So this is a magnetic compass. This is a, just a plain wire. I'm gonna hook it up to the battery and let's see what happens. If I hold that right over there and then I touch both ends of the wire to the battery, which is hard to do with, with only two hands. I should really have three hands. You can see the needle moves. So the electric wire makes a magnetic field and we can use that to make an electric motor. Now we're gonna need a battery. We're gonna need a magnet. Uh, I'm gonna use this magnet. I like this one. This is a magnet I took out of a hard drive and I can show you how to do that sometimes. The hard drives have really nice magnets and the old kind of hard drives. Now the other thing we're gonna need is some wire. Uh, we're gonna need some paper clips too, paper clips. Uh, this is wire that you're not gonna be able to use. This is just plain copper wire. It won't work. You need instead something like this this is magnet wire. There's a big difference in that this has an enamel coating on it. And I can scratch some of that off and you can see. Okay, see how that's the bare copper wire and that's enamel. We need that for this to work. Uh, you could use some wire like this. It has a rubber insulating. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, bend as nice, it doesn't stay in its shape, but this technically would work also. So what we're gonna do is first get our magnet, uh, electromagnetic holder using these paper clips. I need to make a loop of wire and I'm gonna hold it with paper clips. So I'm gonna pull these apart, just bend them like that. And I'm gonna bend this apart like that. And then I'm going to tape it to the battery. Now, I like electric tape because it's kind of stretchy, but you can really use anything. Uh, it could even be a rubber band. You just want to make sure it has good contact like this. Oops, it's stuck to the magnet. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's what makes this so great. You do want it tight so it makes good contact like that. Okay, so now I can put my loop down there. Next, I'm going to make a loop of wire. I've already done this just to save time. This is the magnet wire and it has, it's looped around and it has two ends. I'm gonna put it in this and this is gonna be my motor. Okay, but in order to get it to work, I need to shave off some of the enamel off the coating because it's going to rest in the paper clip holder and make electrical contact with the battery so that the current will go through it. But there's another trick. I want to leave the enamel on one side of one of the wires so that when it rolls over, it stops having current going through it. Uh, that is important. The other side I can shave off. So if I just shave, I've already done this, shave off all the, the enamel on this side. And it doesn't have to all be off, but you want it most of it off. Then I have a bare copper wire right here. That one's gonna need a little bit more over here. Just a file, or you can scrape it off with some scissors. Uh, there's lots of ways you can get that off. Okay, so now we're done. I'm gonna put this in here. There's gonna be electrical uh, current going through the loop of wire. It's gonna make a magnetic field. It's gonna interact with this magnet that makes it turn. Once it rolls over on top of the enamel coating, it will stop the current and it'll just keep spinning on its own until it comes back around and gets another boost. Let's see if it works. Put it right there. You do want this kind of balanced so that it can rotate freely. Give it a little kick. And you gotta figure out which way it wants to go. It wants to go this way. Spin. It's almost there. Just bend it so it rotates a little bit freer. It's, this is tricky to get it to work just right. You just gotta take a little bit of practice.
That was it. You see it? And this is a really poor one. We can make much better ones, but I'm trying to do it as simple as possible. One more try. Go. There you go. There's your electric motor.